I've been working on restoring this old 2011 iMac and need to replace the old hard drive with this new faster one. However, I don't want to lose any data, so in this video I'm going to show you how to back up all your information and install macOS on a new hard drive. Let's go! For this video I'll be using a Western Digital Blue Solid State Drive, or SSD for short. In 2020, a 500GB SSD like this cost about $65, and is well worth the cost because it's so much faster than a regular hard drive. Upgrading to an SSD is usually the best thing you can do to make your computer run faster. Now looking more closely, we can see there's a connection for the power and the SATA 3 cable. And on the other side is a big blue sticker. The only thing in the box were the instructions and the solid state drive. Now because this is a new drive, there's currently no data on it. So to back up the information off my iMac, I'm going to use this external enclosure. There's an adapter for the power and SATA 3 port, so the SSD will easily plug into it. Make sure to remove any stickers before trying to plug it in. Once the sticker is removed, align the SATA and power ports to the enclosure and slide it down. Put the top cover on and you're good to go. Last step is to plug in the USB cable. Notice that the USB port is blue, so that means it uses a USB 3 connection. Plug that same cable into the USB port on the iMac, then turn on the computer, and after it boots up, turn on the external drive. You'll then likely get an error message that says the disk is not readable. It needs to be formatted so it's Mac OS compatible instead of Windows. So to fix that, click Initialize. After waiting, you'll be brought to this new screen where you can see the two hard drives located on the left. I highly recommend right-clicking and renaming the drives so you don't get them confused. This one here is the old hard drive, so click on it and you'll notice that it says Mac OS Extended Journaled. It's very important that you notate the exact format. Once you have that down, click on the new hard drive. Go to the top menu and click Erase. Then you'll be given the option to rename the drive, and I'm going to call it WD SSD so I know which one it is. Next, click the menu underneath the name field and make sure the format matches exactly with the old hard drive. Then click Erase to format the drive. I sped things up for this video, but once it's done, you'll get an option asking if you want to use it for Time Machine. Make sure you select Don't Use. You can then click Show Details to make sure everything ran correctly. If there were any problems formatting the drive, they're usually listed here. Once I close that screen, I can see that the new solid state drive is now formatted as Mac OS Extended Journaled. With the drive in the right format, I can now make a copy of my old hard drive to the new one. To get started with a copy, I need to first restart my computer. However, as it's restarting, it's very important that you hit Command R when it boots up. It may take a little bit longer to load, but once it's done, it will take you to the Utilities menu. From here, you can do a Time Machine Restore or reinstall Mac OS, but I'm going to choose Disk Utility. From here, you can see that there are three hard drives available. Even though it shows there's three drives, there's physically only two. The first is the old hard disk drive inside the iMac, our external drive, this disk image shows the operating system. Clicking on the new SSD, we have two options. We can either do a clean install of Mac OS, or we can restore all the data from the old hard drive to the new one by cloning it. You don't need to do both options, but you'll want to choose one or the other. I'm just going to quickly show you how to do both. Now I'll show you how to do a clean install of Mac OS. Make sure you're highlighting the new SSD and go to the top and click Restore. You'll be shown a drop-down menu where you can choose which drive you want to copy. I selected the OS X Base System option, which will allow me to make a copy of that to the new Solid State Drive. So to begin, go down and click Restore. This takes some time, so I'll skip ahead. I first want to verify that everything looks good, then I go down and hit Done. Now you can see that instead of WD SSD, it now says OSX Base System. This is just the base system, so you'll need to close this window and go to the previous screen and select Reinstall Mac OS. When that's complete, it will be as if your Mac is brand new. You can also throw in a USB drive and make that bootable as well. Alright, now I'm going to show you the second option of how to clone a drive. Go up to the top and hit Erase. Then I'm going to repeat the same process as before and select the right format, which is Journaled. Again, make sure it's exactly the same as the old hard drive and go down and select Erase. When that's complete, hit Done. 
and we're back to where we started. So to clone the old hard drive, make sure I select the SSD, and instead of choosing the OSX base system, I'm going to choose HDD old. Now I'm set to clone the old hard drive to the new one, so I select restore. Now this can take quite a bit of time, especially if you have a lot of information on your old hard drive, so make sure you plan 30 to 60 minutes. And with that, I now have a clone of the old hard drive. So I don't get it confused, I'm going to go back and rename it, then test that everything copied over. To test it, I go to the Apple menu and select Startup Disk. I'll then be brought to a window where I can choose which hard drive I want to boot off of. I don't want to boot from the old hard drive, but instead we'll select the new hard drive to boot from. With that selected, I then hit restart. It may take a little bit longer to boot up. As long as the light is blinking, everything should be fine. The login screen has my same information, and the computer booted up correctly with all of my old programs. And I can see that I now have a cloned copy of the old hard drive on the new solid state drive. With everything copied over, I can now disconnect the solid state drive, but first need to shut down the Mac. I need to shut it down first and not just eject it because everything is booting off the external hard drive. And that's a win. We now have a copy of the old hard drive on this new solid state drive. If you want to see how to replace the old hard drive with a new one, check that video out. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.